What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel Plus UI on this device and yes I have did a previous video on the same ROM which is version 1.3 in this ROM it was pretty good but some things were missing so today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the version 1.4 now here inside Android version we have the Pixel Plus UI logo up top and then the maintainer's name and then the Pixel Plus UI version is 1.4 says fires and official build of course device is Violet or Redmi Note 7 Pro and of course based on Android 10 and if you scroll down you can see the security patch level is of the latest May 5th 2020 and the kernel version is Perf Plus kernel 4.14.170 and here is the build time or the build date which is 16th May 2020 the latest build as of right now I couldn't make a video on this in my area there was a super cyclone and stuff so that's the reason why I couldn't make any videos all this time so now let me tell you how did I flash the ROM well I was on the oxygen OS and if you haven't seen the oxygen OS video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro click on the card right here let me show you which recovery I am on right now so as you can see this is the orange fox recovery version r10.1 underscore 2 the latest build of the orange fox recovery I have over here so I'll recommend you guys using this recovery and let me show you what did I change over here you can see like inside OTA there is this disable force encryption option I have it turned on and that's how I did not need to flash any fcrypt disabler but still I am decrypted on this ROM and I had to format the storage while coming from oxygen OS right after I formatted storage I enabled this from the like menu and then settings and then OTA I enabled this disable force encryption like this you can have the other settings like this over here and with that you can get your storage decrypted so right now as you can see my storage is decrypted it does not ask for any password so with this i just went to the download folder flash the latest firmware this is the version 11.0.8 global firmware as you can see it says violet in global i'll put the direct link for this in the description below so do not worry i use this firmware and i flashed the pixel plus ui of course and it does not need any gapps because gapps is pre-installed so after that i just rebooted if you're clean flashing the rom from any other custom rom just wipe cache dalvik system data and then flash the rom file and reboot that's how you can flash even if your storage is encrypted and they did change the boot animation to like dark theme as you can see the background is totally black the previous build had the white kind of themed pixel plus boot animation now this is how the home screen looks like of course and if i go into the settings panel this is how it looks like again this is the like stock pixel launcher present by default as you can see it says pixel launcher over here and on this launcher to the left of course we have the google now cards or the discover page and here if you swipe up you get the app drawer if you swipe down you get the quick settings panel just like this and the widgets and stuff should be working pretty fine over here and i have also tested the safety net let me show you so as you can see it passes the safety net test so that means you can directly use banking apps you do not even need magisk or something google pay should be working right out of the box and with this led rgb remote app i have tested the ir blaster present on the device and that works super fine no issues whatsoever and as this is a indian redmi note 7 pro here the drm info shows as level one so you can definitely stream netflix or amazon prime in 1080p over here and this google's own recorder app does work super fine over here and if i tap on transcript it does like transcript my audio or whatever i am saying it does like right over here so that is a really cool feature and it keeps like doing it and it does look pretty cool or it, it can come pretty handy in some situations i would say and there is also this pixel plus ui kind of app and over here you get the pixel plus ui stock wallpapers and as you can see we have this like pixel plus ui but whenever i tap on any wallpaper it like zooms in a bit so i have to zoom it out just like this as you are noticing so yeah there are pretty cool wallpapers in my opinion now let me show you the stock camera this is of course the miui camera or the anx camera present by default and here if i go into the video mode we of course do have the vlog mode and stuff you can use that and let me show you how much you get on this like camera you get up to 4k and 30 fps in the video mode by default over here so that's good of course there is no 4k 60 fps on this device but yeah you can shoot 1080p 60 or 4k 30 as you want 
now let me switch to the other modes like the portrait mode and stuff everything should be working fine you do not need to worry about this ANX camera it does work super fine without any issues now let me show you the Google camera 7 I have installed over here and Google camera 7 should be working pretty fine with night sight mode and stuff and this is the latest version I'll put a direct link for this in the description box below if you don't have the Google camera I have installed it separately by the way this is a APK so and I'll link a card over here for the Google camera if you need that now talking about the quick toggles over here present by default let me show you here we have the always on display toggle and screen record and stuff is there let me show you which screen recorder is there this is kind of a stock android ish screen recorder you can change the video bitrate from here up to 20 mbps and then you can change the audio source to internal or microphone and then we have the show stop dot and stuff but you cannot really change the frame rates and stuff from here so yeah that's how it is now let me show you the other things like screencast heads up disabling option is there in the quick toggles of course the dark theme option is there and the dark theme does work super fine as you are noticing and you do not need to worry about the dark theme it works fine but the only thing which i have been noticing is not there is the fps info or the fps count which shows on the like left top that thing is not present here now of course this is a pixel plus ui so we have this pixel lizer settings and over here you find some customizations here we have the traffic indicators and stuff but i am not using this i am using a different app for this and here we have the blur behind the quick toggles and stuff status bar option is there if you want to enable it on the lock screen then we have the clock settings and stuff then the clock style you can change the status bar clock style to the center and stuff but that's like the center one is of no use because there is a notch of the like redmi note 7 pro on the display so yeah you can choose it on the left or right and here we have the am pm style and you can use the small or normal one then the date font size and stuff you can change that inside power menu we do have the advanced reboot and here as you can see we do have the advanced reboot just like this it works flawlessly no issues and if you are using two or three button navigation you can choose this like invert layout as you can see we have this invert layout settings you can use that if you're using the two or three button navigation double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar as well is there screen of power button toggle torch is there as you can see you can long press the power button to toggle the torch from the lock screen whenever the device is locked so that's cool and in call vibration options are there so the vibrate on connect call call waiting and disconnect is there in the battery settings we do have the battery percentage option and you cannot really change the battery icons and stuff i guess and here we have the last full charge option and the screen on time and you can see the full battery usage from here of course the battery life should be pretty good it can definitely give you about 7 plus hours of screen on time without any issues and 18 watt fast charging does work fine over here too inside display settings we do have the dark theme again and you can schedule that night light or the like yellowish kind of display does work fine if you want to use that adaptive or auto brightness is there styles and wallpapers option is there and here we do have some wallpapers let me show you inside this come alive section we have these live wallpapers and also we have this living universe by default so you can download any live wallpaper from here and you can also use the MIUI 12 wallpapers if you want to and click on the card right here if you want that now let me scroll down we have the lock screen display and of course we have the always on display over here in case if you want to use that but i don't know why you would use that on an ips display double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both are there so that's cool now here inside sound settings we have the mi audio direct and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just great you can choose between these many options of the headphones plethora of options in my opinion and then there is the touch vibration screenshot screen record touch sounds etc disabling option now let me show you the volume panel over here looks pretty cool i would say as you can see this is how the volume panel looks like has a rounded kind of feeling and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here and you can have the expanded settings of the like media call ring and alarm volume from here and inside security if i go over here we have this google play system update showing red i don't have a huge problem with it but i'm just saying this thing is there as you can see we do have the face unlock option and i have enabled the face unlock or like added the face now let me show you the face unlock speed i am gonna just like double tap over here and as you can see it unlocks let me do it again it does try a couple of times if you are noticing let me try it again and as you can see it does unlock but yes it does do a couple of tries 
Now let me show you the favorite scanner speed. So as you can see, the Figment scanner is quite fast over here. I do not have any complaints regarding the Figment scanner speed on this ROM. Now inside system, if you go to advanced, I have also enabled developer options over here and we do have a system updater. So you can update from this system updater if you want to. And inside gestures, we have the swipe to exchange your gesture and I have already enabled it. Now let me show you. If I go over here and take a screenshot and this is the ASUS kind of screenshot. So the long screenshot works super fine and you can also edit and like do a like doodle kind of like this as you can see. So yeah, this is pretty cool feature in my opinion that the three figure screenshot gesture is there. And there is also the system navigation gestures. Here we have the full screen gestures. If you want to hide this pill, you can do that. And here we have the like sensitivity of this Android 10 kind of gesture, but you cannot like control the size of this pill over here. Yes, there are customizations, but they are still limited. Also one more feature that I would say is missing or it's not missing. It's like I would love to have that feature, which is the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar. That thing is not simply here, but I would love to get that feature in future updates. In terms of daily driving performance and stuff, it should be pretty good. And here is the like Geekbench 5 score on this ROM. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Hero from KD and Tech signing off for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.